30. Yay! 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 Of our life talks. Now, remember I told you we on faith? I decided this would be our video number two on faith. As you heard, we are doing our video number two on faith. But what I'm going to do in this video about faith is I am going to go at it from kind of a different angle in a way. It'll kind of connect to the other one, but it'll be, it kind of is a standalone too. So I wanted to start with asking some questions. And if you watch this, want to put your own comment down there. I know sometimes people are self-conscious of just posting a quick comment or, or their thoughts, which really would mean a lot to me because it, mean, it lets me know that you're out there. I see you watching, but I don't know what your thoughts are or how you, or what you get from certain videos and, and, and it would help me to know. But if not, if you could at least click the little thumbs up to know you at least like it. It doesn't so, show who did it, so you're still anonymous with that, but at least I know I'm on the right path. So, with faith, I'm going to start with some questions. All right, faith, 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 faith. Have you ever been in a situation where you lost your faith? Where every way you turn, every road you took seemed to be farther away from where you really wanted to be? I want you to think about that. Have you ever done everything that you absolutely could do and done just one more thing and felt that you still were not getting any farther or any closer to what your true dreams are? Do you think that you're on the right path? Have you ever found yourself questioning, are you on the right path? You know, are you studying the right subjects in school? Are you working at the right job? Or are you in the right clubs for, you know, social things? Have you ever found yourself just wondering those questions? I want to share that if nothing else has remained for me, my faith is has really deep in my heart and when I find myself in a place of doubt kind of go back to focusing on the positive focusing on what does it all mean focusing on you know, we all have questions that pop in our heads you know is this the right situation or is that the right thing I should do or is this the right thing I should do and it seems sometimes that you're banging your head against the wall but I, I take comfort in a few things I take comfort in my faith I take comfort in it when things don't look the way they should think about the things that do look the way they should think about times in my life where things were in a good area. I reflect on those things. I think about times where I might have felt like I was at the end of my rope and but I wouldn't let go of those threads that were kind of just hang, holding me. Open my eyes or look around and see something beautiful that would pull me up, 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 up and I would feel better. And the reason I say this is because, you know, somewhere along the line, we got the idea that life was supposed to be perfect. And when we think that, and then things don't work out like that, we find ourselves doubting things and, and then we lose faith. So one thing I want to say is that you cannot have faith in 
a person. And the reason I say that is because people, while we're all flawed, people let you down. And it hurts. It's a deep hurt in your heart. But having faith, stopping the insanity of should I be doing when deep in your heart you know what you should be doing you believe that it's possible so for me I believe in God I believe in Jesus I know that I'm never alone because they're because they're with me in the Holy Spirit as well so for me it doesn't mean my life is perfect by any stretch of the word because it's not it just means that I'm not alone so for me I take peace and I take happiness and I take joy in that even when everything around me might look shattered with this installment about faith you know you can have faith in yourself and I don't mean that you like think of yourself as some god or something crazy like that. I mean faith in yourself and your abilities. Your abilities to create, your abilities to bring good things to the table, your ability to to grow as a person and your ability to see the beauty in other people that are around you and your ability to see that sometimes you may not be the winner but you can celebrate with the person that is a winner because one day it will be your turn to be the winner so basically what I wanted to share is I want you to think about those questions I asked at the beginning and I want you to ponder them a little bit and I want to know what happens when you lose faith how do you get it back how do you set yourself up to get it back get yourself back on track so beautiful and it's it's so complicated and so confusing and we have the ability to accept this one moment we have the ability to see the beauty in this one moment faith that my feet will stay on the ground and I won't float that's simple faith, you know. Faith that I'll have a trillion dollars, you know. Faith is so big and broad, but it's so small and simple too. If you choose to make it that way. So still in the midst of struggles and challenges, what do you do? Where is your faith? Is it in other people? Is it in the situation? Is it in yourself? Is it in your faith? In your faith faith? Like your belief system? Never give up, no matter what you see, no matter what you hear. Whatever it is, whatever your dream is, whatever your thought is, if you just hold on to that, hold on to it even when things may not seem the way you think they should seem it might be working out a whole other way than you anticipated but I believe that you if you have faith can truly accomplish anything so this was video two about faith I know people don't feel comfortable commenting but if you could give it a thumbs up at least let me know that you're what that lets me know that you are engaged if you're not able to comment and i hope you have a wonderful wonderful day bye bye